Why did you get trained as a community health worker? Because I was interested of serving the community in the church. Because that time I was an evangelist. So I was saying it is good when I'm going to evangelize. I will meet people who are sick and they need help. I have a wife with uh, five children. Wow. <laughs> so I have uh, uh, three boys and two girls. These are hygiene products. Okay, this is the uh, place of um, the, the nurse. The stethoscope. We have the BP machine. We have the this one is for stethoscope and the, the, this one is thermometer and the, this is the water jug for washing. Here we have the malaria tests to uh, kids so that uh, we can get to know once you have malaria or not. Also, we have the family plans for family planning. Do people in the community know about clean water? Yeah, they know. It's only those who go, you know, there are others who do not care. They say that, uh, that is not uh, the problem. But we are trying to, to educate them, the purpose and the need of boiling or putting the water. And if they don't drink clean water, what health problems do they have? What do you see as a result? They come, some of them, they come as uh, complaining the, their stomach ache. Some of them, they are saying they have uh, colds. Some, they come and say they have uh, sore throats. Uh, some are saying they are eating the boy, the skin. How do you teach people to keep their homes? to take care of their children so that people don't get sick. Outside of uh, Maria, uh, I do advise them, each and every one, to have a, a mosquito net. Some are being uh, treated in some other clinics or dispensaries. In some of them, they miss uh, drugs so they come to on this side so that they can have the, 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 the drug that's are missing that side. They know we have a affordable prices for the drugs and uh, the quality of drugs which are being supplied by the shell. I do visit uh, home visiting around this community, we have the villages here. So once either for a week, I do go outside and meet them. So that I, also I do carry the, the water gun. And uh, I go and tell them, uh, let's have your packet. Put your water, then I treat them. I put the, the, that water gun for them. And they, I told them, if you, you finish this one, come and buy yours, so that you can proceed to treating the water. <laughs> the, the, the one with the victim is the one who organizes the, the fundraising. So he calls the community, come and help uh, to raise the money to, to pay the bill. So, and uh, here people are united, they go and help that uh, person. What do you do to keep your family healthy? To make sure I, uh, they eat the balanced diet so that their body can have good immune so that they can fight the, the diseases if they get. Uh, 
the other one is that uh, is to make sure we have a good relationship with them. Because if they are happy with me, <laughs> if they are happy with their mother, I think uh, they will get uh, uh, that uh, feeling and they will be very happy also. Or very happy to feel uh, they, they are well, they are liked by their parents. If you were the new president, and you are in charge of the country. What, what do you think were the, would be the three things that you would do to make health care better in the country? Uh, one thing is to make that sure the air drugs are available in our dispensaries or health centers. The second thing uh, we make sure uh, the mosquito nets, it is compulsory, free, to any in, in Kenya to have a net. And the other one is that uh, to make sure health sanitations are very carried out in our I think I'll go